Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been seeing that a lot of you guys are very much interested in how the HCD restore and backup works. So I saw the analytics of my channel and the most views that my video is getting is HCD restore, backup and restore, which is basically one of the questions that features in CKA exam, right? Uh, certified Kubernetes administrator. So I thought why not just do a uh, new video on it right why not just create an update because the last video i did was i think a couple of years back so let's get started this i'll make this one very quick because since we already have one video so we'll just get into it so i am into uh, a killer coda cluster right so first thing i'm going to do is basically just cat out uh, <coughs> hcd <coughs> kubernetes manifest hcd.yml because this file gives you all the credentials and everything that you'll need to basically do the backup and restore right all this information we are going to use so let me clear this and we can anyway go back up yeah so let's first get the cdl version so we are running 3.5 i think we are good so the first command is hcdctl snapshot right so i'll just copy the command i have it written and I'll just paste it here and then I'll talk about it. So HCDCTL would be available to you in the exam, right? You, the command to take backup is snapshot. So HCDCTL snapshot save, this is the name of the backup. And then we are passing the credentials to basically authenticate with the cluster. So endpoint, cert, cert, uh, and the key. So all this information you will get from this file. You can see everything is there, right? So just copy it from that file See, I'm not going into a lot of details because I've already done this in the previous video. So in more detail. So this one, I just want to do it quickly. So let's hit enter and the snapshot DB is created. Uh, let's do an LS and see snapshot DB. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly run kubectl run nginx image. NGINX. I'm doing this because when I'll do the restore, this pod should just disappear, right? So it's still creating, it should get created. Yeah, it's running now. So it's in the default namespace. All right. Uh, now what we are going to do, uh, let's, so there is a command, I think it, which is not covered in the documentation is you can actually see the status of your snapshot so this is basically etcdc etl snapshot status and you can see the size of your snapshot like right and this this is just telling it just put it out as a table format the way it is doing right all right now the next thing i'm going to do is basically stop all the control plane pods and since they are static pods you can simply stop them by just copying copying everything from etc kubernetes manifest to temp directory so we'll just copy that and then we are also going to stop kubelet so we'll just quickly stop come on ah, let's copy it multiple time kubelet all right kubelet is gone the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to move the old data directory so the new the data directory to basically something else so how do you get the data directory so i'll just move it first and then if you go in the file you would see there is data directory because when you restore it will be created right so you just move the old data directory to something else or you just completely delete this data directory you can just do an rm hyphen rf as well right all right so i've moved it to hcd.old now I'm going to restore it. So restore command is like you must have guessed it's etcd restore, snapshot restore. And then again, I'm passing few extra parameters like data directory. So I'm going to create var lab, uh, var lib etcd as my data directory, name of the cluster. And then all this information, initial cluster, cluster token is coming from the file itself, right? So it's nothing that I, already know it's all coming from this file initial cluster initial cluster token right all that stuff so let's hit restore and you should read this restored snapshot if this is seen that means your 
etcd has been restored because if you actually mess up this question uh, you mess up the whole cluster so any other question related to this particular cluster would also be messed up right so be very sure uh, of not messing up etcd snapshot and restore now i'm just going to move all the temp files all the back to their original directory so that they come up and i'm going to start cubes just start kubelet kubelet is started and if we have not done anything kubectl get pods first we'll check everything in cube system namespace that's where our etcd run so all the pods are running our etcd is still it has not come up so but it will uh, let's see get pods so all the resources in this pods in the default namespace have gone like like what we expected it and all the pods are running as well in the cube system namespace and you have completed your etcd backup and restore i hope you guys like this video i know this was a very quick one if you want a detailed video you can so yeah if you're looking for a detailed video that is already existing this was a quick uh, recap of that i hope you guys like the video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching